Hey guys, what's up? Drinking a little Aquarius Vitamin Guard. It's kind of like, I mean, it's obviously lemony tasting. It's just flavored water, basically. Um, it's obviously got some calories in it, but not too many. 17 per 200, and this is a 500 bottle, so less than 50 calories in this bottle. But anyway, uh, try not to always drink Coca-Cola. What's up? So, it's Monday now, um, July 22, and I guess we can't really call these daily vlogs anymore, although I'm still going to title them that just for consistency's sake, um, but they'll probably be more like semi-daily? Is that a term? Bi-daily? No. I can't speak English. I don't know. Um, and maybe every other day I'll have time to do one between now and August 1st. I kind of just want to finish out July and keep making these. I've been having fun doing them, um, getting some good comments and feedback. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, but, yeah, just don't expect one every day. So, some of you have been so kind and so nice. Like, yes, you know, uh, I'll, you know, uh, Jason, uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, James and I'm from England and um, yes, every morning um, I get up and I eat my breakfast and watch one of your vlogs and it's very enjoyable, I enjoy it quite a bit and uh, so yeah, I just, uh, what can I say, thanks, you know, like, but uh, unfortunately, you know, some days you're going to have to have your uh, uh, toast and jam or your Weetabix or whatever it is without my vlog because it won't be every day. Um, I was so, so tired today at work. I mean, I was crazy tired. Like, this was like, it's like back in college when you, like, you know, stay up all night cramming for a test, or for me, it was always writing a paper. Like, I'd be writing, 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 I'm like, oh, I've still got to write, like, five pages. Okay, writing, 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 writing. And then you'd be like, okay, I'm just going to go to sleep for an hour, just so I can, you know, my head will clear. So you go to sleep for an hour, and you wake up, it's like 3 a.m., you go, oh, writing, 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 writing. And it's just been so hot, and I just haven't been able to sleep, and um, uh, I, I just am not getting good sleep at all. And uh, Well, last night it was because I was, the reason I didn't make a vlog too was because I was making the final exam, and it just took me a long time. You know, I'm, I'm not a perfectionist, but I like it to be right, and I still messed up. You know, I, I gave them the test today. And I noticed something I forgot to do on the in the thing, and it it bugged me. They they won't even notice. Um, but anyway, it it all went well, and most of the kids finished it, you know, fairly quickly. So I know it wasn't too difficult. Um, only a few stuck around for the full eighty minutes. And um, anyway, so today, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about two things today. Um, we're going to talk about why I have so many opened bags of chips on my table, and we're also going to talk about a very, very important skill you need to acquire if you're going to come and live in Japan. Ooh, spooky, huh? You don't know what it is. You don't know what I'm going to talk about. It could be, it could be so many things. So you just have to stick around. You just have to keep watching, because I'm going to talk about the chips things first. Okay, so these chips are open, see, and I use these little, like, I don't I think these are for, like, laundry, like, <laughs> I don't even know, but I use them as a chip clip, and these are kind of, um, kettle flavored, I call them kettle flavored, um, and this says potato age, so I don't even know, maybe some of you can tell me what that means, but I don't know what this kanji up here is, sorry. Um, <clears throat> But anyway, uh, shio is salt, and this means aji, this means flavor. So, um, they're really, they're really tasty. And these go well with, like, a grilled cheese sandwich, um, which is what I had for dinner tonight. No judgment, damn it. You guys are always on at me about what I'm eating. I came home today, I was so tired, guys, I crashed. I unrolled my futon over here, in this room with the air conditioning, and I literally at like 5.45 or something, I said, I'm just going to nap until like 7 o'clock. And I even set my iPhone, and the alarm went off, and I was watching like Chuck or something on Hulu. And um, I crashed out, man. And that alarm went off, and I, I clicked it off, and I went back to bed. And the next thing I woke up, it was 9.30 at night. 
And I'm like, oh, I don't feel like cooking. I just made a quick grilled cheese and had some chips. That was dinner. But, you know, you can do that when you live alone, I guess, you know. And nobody else is around to, like, you know, say, what's the deal, man? What are we going to have for dinner? I, I don't know. I guess that would be my kind of not-so-smart roommate if I had one. Um, then the other thing I found at a local store that sells sort of import, although there's Japanese on the packaging, so they're made for this market, um, but they do say export, um, are these taco-flavored Doritos. Now, the thing about this is Doritos sell chips in Japan. You can buy Doritos brand chips um, and Cheetos. Let me warn you about Cheetos. The Cheetos in Japan are not the same. Don't be fooled. They will not taste the same as the Cheetos you're used to in America. Um, anyway, these taste like American Doritos. The ones they sell in Japan are often sweeter um, and just not the same. So just beware. Um, I, I forget how much I pay for these at, an, at the import shop but um, uh, or the place that sells sort of import stuff. But uh, they're worth it. So these I like, like if I just come home and I just feel like I want a snack, I have some Coca-Cola or something, these have like a flavor. Um, and I don't really like nacho cheese flavored Doritos, which was a huge like staple chip that everyone ate when I was a kid. But um, I like these taco flavored ones, and um, so these I can eat by themselves. That's bag number two. And then I have these other Doritos. Toasted corn, and also kind of the same place. And then, so these are hard to get. I don't get these in my hometown. These I get when I drive two hours away to go to the movie theater. So I buy like three bags at a time when I go to that, that place. Um, these, of course, I can put grated cheese on top and make nachos. And these are a good accompaniment when I make tacos and other things. So they're all important chips. And they all go with different things, and that's why I have three open bags of chips on my table. There you go. Mystery solved. You're in on it now. Okay. So we got, this one's going to go more than ten minutes, I'll just let you know now. But you knew that, because you, when you clicked on the video, it told you that, I mean, why do I even say that? Um, I'm eating uh, little Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, which I actually brought back with me from America when I went back in June. You can't really get these in Japan. Um, but I left one out. <laughs> like I only ate, like I put three or so out on the table last night and I only ate two. And I came home and the other one was so melted. I mean, you don't understand how hot it gets in my house when I go to work for the day. Um, so yeah, you can't leave that crap out. You have to put it back in the fridge if it's anything that could melt. Alright, the important, the important skill that you have to have. Um, actually, you don't have to have. You can you can learn on the job as it is, as it were, as it is, as it were, uh, after you come here. Because I will admit that when I came over to Japan for the first time in 2004, I had probably never done this more than maybe once or twice, and I had certainly never done it the way they do it in Japan. What am I talking about? Karaoke. Okay, so the first thing you have to dissuade yourself of and I think it's the same as if you're in Britain or Australia or as it is in America, is you have to stop calling it karaoke. Okay, I know it sounds pretentious. It's like karate to call it karaoke. But when you come over here and you see how it's spelt and you learn a little bit of Japanese, you'll realize karaoke is like really bad. And if you say karaoke to a Japanese person, they will usually go, huh? You know? <laughs> um... They won't understand what you're saying at first. You know, you can gesture and stuff, and then they'll get it. But uh, <laughs> um, that's you know, listen to any Japanese person say it, and you'll realize that that's not how they say it, of course. So you want to be understood. So learn how to say it, sort of in a Japanese way. You will get asked to go to different karaoke things many times, especially in your first year. It's going to be a staple of when you get together with your jet friends. It's going to be, you know, part of any, most of your, like, teacher parties. You're going to have a Nijikai. Ni, N-I, is two. Niji is, like, the second. Kai, I think, means kind of, like, gathering or party. So, you know, you'll have your, your first Enkai, your party. It might be a Nomikai, which means no, Nomimas is to drink. 
a drinking party, and then you'll have, like, a Nijikai. Nijikai usually means, like, the second party after, like, maybe the boss has gone home, and the, the women who, you know, I hate to, it sounds sexist, right, but the women who aren't really drinking, or maybe their moms, and they have to get home to their kids or whatever, so it's, like, the guys, generally, um, although if you're a female ALT, you should go, um, uh, and usually there's one, you know, single f woman teacher or something that, that will go with you. Uh, anyway, it, it, invariably you go to, like, a place that has karaoke, a snack bar, which is, again, a topic for a whole other thing. It's not really about snacks. Um, or just a straight-up, you know, regular bar that has karaoke. So, in America especially, and I, I don't know the way it is, please tell me in the comments the way it is in Britain or, you know, some other countries. But in America, basically, especially ten years ago... Karaoke was mainly in bars, and you mainly did it in front of everyone. You went somewhere, and you know, some you there was a little stage or something, and you got up and you sang in front of a whole crowd. Now they it might have been karaoke night, <laughs> which is the way I did it one time, um, and so everybody's sort of watching, or it might just be you know a bar that has a karaoke machine and they let you sing from you know seven to ten p.m. on Tuesdays or something. And uh, people don't really pay attention. But anyway, you're doing it in front of strangers, um, and people are watching. It can be kind of embarrassing, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I also lived in Oakland, California at the time, and some of the people would get up and sing, and man, they could sing, you know? Um, and so it's, it's intimidating. But in Japan, of course, and I'm sure all of you know this, if you, if you have any interest in Japan, you go into a small room when you do karaoke, and... Um, you just singing with your friends. It's much less intimidating. And so many people, when they first come, I've been to like new jet parties, you know, after I obviously became a second year or third year jet, etc. They're so shy about it and stuff, and you really just shouldn't be. Um, of course, you can be awful. Don't get me wrong. You can sound terrible. I'm not saying that everybody has a natural ability to sing karaoke. But it's sort of in the spirit of doing it. You should at least try it each time. Try a different song. Really, that's the biggest thing, is try five or six different songs over your first five or six different times, and you'll find a song that fits your vocal range or is fun, gets a good reaction, and that then you can, you know, sort of repeat that song a lot of the times, unless you're always going out with the same group of people. Um, for me, that song has ended up being Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. For some reason, fits my vocal range, I can belt it out, it's a ganky song, it gets everybody going, and um, I sound decent when I sing it. I'm not a decent, I mean, I'm not a great singer, but there, I found four or five songs that I can sing in a karaoke environment that, you know, that are, are good. People are like, oh, that was pretty good, Jason. So that's one of them, and, you know, and I certainly, I just, you know, I was going through the list, and you'll get big books and everything, and just picking out songs, and that happened to be one of them one night, and it's stuck, and it's like kind of part of my repertoire now, <laughs> um, if I have such a thing, but um, yeah, so don't be shy about it, um, you know, get in the spirit of it, of course, um, I don't get drunk when I go to karaoke, because I don't drink, but a lot of people feel like, you know, a little social lubricant helps, you know, the, the, the more drunk you are, the more fun it is. Um, not that I take it seriously, but, um, I, I love it when somebody gets up, you know, and can really sing, and, uh, really belts one out, and you'll be surprised some of your Japanese teachers, um, how much they love, you know, U2, or, uh, Green Day, or the Beatles, or whoever it is, and they'll get up and sing a song in English, and you'll be like, damn, that, that's pretty good, um, and of course, if you don't speak Japanese, um, singing Japanese songs can be tough. Um, some staples that people sing um, a lot are uh, Linda Linda by the Blue Hearts. Just ask for that one night. It's very easy to sing along to. It's very ganky. Um, there's a band called Ul Fools, U-L-F-U-L-S, and they have a song called, well, it's got a long Japanese title, but the basic word that you need to look for is Banzai, um, and it's a very fun, easy to sing along to song. Uh, you know, and, and you'll you'll find these as you go. Um, some, you know, the words obviously are in English as you go along on an English song, and the words are in Japanese on a Japanese song. Sometimes they'll have furigana, 
you know, the hiragana above the kanji, so if you can at least read hiragana, but of course it goes really fast, so, you know, and it's how much you know the song already. And then you'll always get the anime nerd, you know, in the group who knows, like, the theme song from every Bleach, you know, or whatever. <laughs> and uh, they can just belt out Japanese songs, and, you know, that's, that's cool too. But to impress Japanese people, it, it, they, they, they will be impressed. If you can get up and sing a song in Japanese um, somewhat convincingly, uh, they're always blown away. Uh, so, you know, if you want to work on that, you can work on that. But uh, I still don't have a really good Japanese song in my repertoire. Um, there's a few that I can sing along to, um, but I, I don't feel great singing a whole song in Japanese. Um, but that's just me. Um, so yeah, so <clears throat> it's not a skill you need to worry necessarily about coming with, but um, it's something you will do a lot while you're here. And the reason I flashed on this is because I realized I haven't actually gone to karaoke in like a year. Um, the last time I went out and did karaoke was with a big group of students. Um, there were some Korean students visiting, Takuya, who you remember, uh, said, Hey Jason, we're all going out to karaoke, do you want to join us tonight? And I said... <clears throat> Excuse me, I said, sure. And uh, so, I was the only guy Kokujin there, the only foreigner. And um, it was really fun. They sang mostly, you know, Korean and Japanese songs that night. And um, they had the exact same thing, where like some of the Japanese students would get up and sing a song in Korean. And the Korean students were like, woo, cool. Uh, because they're studying Korean in college. And then, of course, like one boy's like, can you sing this song? And he points to a song, and it was Creep by Radiohead, and which happens to be one in my repertoire. Um, and I said, sure, I'll sing it with you. And so, you know, he was like so into it, and I kind of let him sing it, and then I would join in a little bit here and there. And he was just thought that was the awesomest thing, you know. So it's fun to go out and do it. Um, obviously, if you're teaching junior high or something, you know, Shogako, you can't go with your students. But you can go with, of course, your teachers and... Um, uh, you know, obviously your jet friends, and you'll have a lot of fun. And so just don't be shy about it. Um, it's really not that big a deal. Just find, you know, I, one song I sing a lot when I'm with um, Japanese people, and they just get a kick out of it, because it's a nonsense song, is Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious from Mary Poppins. And it's just easy for them to sing along to. Um, another song that will always get Japanese people excited and happy is YMCA by the village people. Don't sing the whole song. Cut yourself off because it's like six minutes long. It goes on for a long time. But just get a few of those, you know, YMCA choruses in and uh, that one's always fun. You'll find songs as you go along that, that Japanese people can help you out with that it aren't that difficult. And um, of course the, 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 the trilogy, the sacred trilogy in Japan of Western acts that are huge, especially in karaoke, the, the Beatles, Queen and the Carpenters, if you know, I know they're all kind of old now, but any song by any of those three bands is pretty much going to get recognition. Other times, you know, you'll be like, oh, do you know so and so? Especially young people who are like, do you know this song by Jay Z or whatever? And it's like, hmm. <laughs> They'll be like, no. Uh, but anyway, have fun, sing karaoke. It's really, it, it really is a good time. I can't believe I haven't done it for a year. Um, but, uh, yeah, I just haven't had the opportunity in the past year to go. I kind of miss it. So I need to try and maybe get some in <laughs> before I go back to America for summer. And, uh, you know, now that the semester ending, today was the last day of classes, uh, maybe we'll have some, uh, you know, semester ending parties or something and I can go sing some karaoke. Uh, you know, get that out of my system. All right, wow, this is almost 20 minutes. What can I say? It's an exciting topic. I hope you enjoyed watching, and um, maybe tomorrow. But like I said, if it's not tomorrow, I'll probably try the next day, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.